Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Actually, I've been on YouTube a lot. It's just a lot of it's pre-recorded. And this is pre-recorded. I'm sorry. But you know what I mean. I've been really sick for the past two, three weeks, on and off. I got strep throat and it went away. And then after that, I got conjunctivitis, which is really, 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 really gross. And if you've gotten it before, then I feel your pain. Seriously, it's the nastiest thing. Don't know what that is? Google it. Um, it's an infection in the eye, and it's just the most nastiest thing you can get on your eye. It's just gross. I'm sure, actually, there's worse, but for me, that was, it was really disgusting. It was not fun. So it's actually a good thing that you didn't see me on camera for a while. I know my last blog was pretty depressing. I sound like I'm dying. It just sound really depressing. Anyway. This is not a depressing post. This is going to be fun, hopefully, right? I don't know. But anyway, you can see I'm in good spirit. I have more energy. I'm feeling better. And spring is here, and I love the sunshine. And when the sun is out, I am like a different person. Like, I had nothing against winter and rain. Those are great things, too. But I'm very, what do you call it? Like, I'm very much like the weather. So, like, when it's sunny, I feel great. When it's raining, I don't feel so great. Raining is okay, but if it's like gloomy and dark and cloudy, yeah, I'm just, I feel like the worst <laughs> ever. But the last few days have been really sunny and I've been loving it, loving it. I can wear my favorite t-shirt and not have to worry about the cold or getting sick. Never mind that last part. So, what the hell is up with me and this Pokemon balloon? Am I doing it or not? You're probably thinking, oh, she's probably going to give another excuse, something like she doesn't have enough balloons, or she's, you know, she's been sick, which is really a reason why I haven't been doing it. I actually did start on it, but then I screwed it up. Then I ran out of colors. Here it comes, more excuses. Enough of the crap. I know you guys just want me to do it already and stop talking about doing it but I really screwed up what I, what I, actually, I actually screwed up the balloon and I ran out oh here I go again I just, I'm like a broken wrecker okay so I decided on a balloon last time I was talking about it I told you it would be a surprise well you know what screw the surprise I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna make and what I decided on was a slow bro. I think slow bro would be a really cool balloon to make. He's a cool Pokemon for sure. Just show you what I did and why I'm not happy with it and why it hasn't been it hasn't been shown to you yet. This is what I ended up with. Um, it's, it's just a mess. Like all these things on the side right there and like this is just a mess it's just a huge mess the face is okay like someone said I did capture its look yeah yeah in some ways I did I made the other ear and then it popped and then I was like screw it and I only had like three pink balloons left and I'm like I can either keep trying to make this work or I'll just start all over again and make it better. And, of course, you guys deserve better. And I need to learn how to do this properly. So I'm going to start all over again and try a different twist, get it right, and hopefully have it for you guys. I ordered a huge bag of pink balloons. So if I screw up, I can do it over and over again and not have to worry about running out of balloons. Because I ordered a lot of pink balloons. I also ordered different sizes. Anyway. Yeah, that aside, I was kind of bummed when I couldn't get the Slowbro balloon right. So I didn't really make anything else for a while. And recently I started watching the show called The Impoppables. And you can look it up. It's basically this rea reality TV show. These three professional balloon makers making like sculptures and crazy shit like the coolest things with balloons that you couldn't even imagine balloons could create well people are creating this with balloons and man it was it was really inspiring so 
going through these pictures, going watching these videos of them making it, and I just like, man, this is so cool. This is really cool. I mean, the whole reason I started doing a lot of this balloon stuff was because the possibility of making something really awesome with just balloons. They don't last forever, but that's what's so special about it. It's like you get it in the moment and it's gone. Anyway, I don't know what I'm really talking about, but it inspired me to make something for me. Nothing video game related, nothing referencing whatever, no movies or anything. I just figured I'd make something for me. And also applying the things I've learned from tutorials, pictures, and so on and so on. So I really like sea creatures. I really like animals. I really like sea creatures and one of my favorite is jellyfish. Jellyfish are just gorgeous to me like yeah on land they look like a booger but that, I mean that's really sad but when they're in the water and they're floating gracefully and and they're glowing and everything it's just they look so cool. So I made myself a jellyfish. Well this isn't a jellyfish. You go over here because it looks better. So yeah, I made myself a jellyfish, jellyfish, and then you can see I got some bubbles there, and uh, yeah, and I just just went with it. I just thought, well, I know how to weave now, and I can show you the bottom. This is just what I used to tie it to the roof, like the bottom of my bed, I guess. Getting a lot better with it. It's a lot more even. Not a lot more tidy, and yeah, kind of looks like a lamp too, doesn't it? I really wanted, um, I thought a cool idea was to put like a light inside it and just let it glow. Man, that would be so cool. But this thing will probably only last a week, and it'll start sagging, unfortunately. But I'm going to enjoy it while it's here, and... Yeah, I, I love it. This is probably one of my favorite balloons that I've ever made. So yeah, that's what I made recently, and that's what I'm going to do. Like, I feel like I should just make whatever balloon I feel like making. Before, I guess I wanted to stick with the video game or movie themes or TV shows and other media type things, fan base things, but I'm just going to do what I want. Okay? I'm sure you understand right last thing i want to talk about is like this whole balance of video games and balloons and i know some people prefer the balloon blogs that i make and some people prefer the gameplays i don't really know where everything is where everyone is at with that i know some people see that i'm doing more of some other thing and they're like oh you know i'm not really into that i feel like the reason i started this channel was to do all these things like gameplays I mean I started gameplays from the start and then I started making balloons I have more gameplay videos than balloons and face fittings and whatever the hell else I do on this channel um, so this channel is gameplay videos but I like to do some things on the side I like to make balloons obviously I like to make crafts and I like to do props and I like dressing up I love cosplay I love movies and so on and so on and so on. Like I said in my description, I just do what I like. So that's pretty much where I am with this channel and hopefully that saves some confusion of what kind of channel I really am. Well, I'm not a channel, I'm a person, but the kind of channel I'm trying to show you guys. Does this look like I'm like bouncing something? I don't know what I'm doing with it. Okay, but yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of everything, yeah, but mostly gameplays. Um, I already mentioned the schedule, gameplay videos from Monday to Thursdays, and then balloon videos or blog videos and so on or whatever reviews will be Fridays. Might mix it up a little bit, you know. I like to improvise, so go with the flow, basically. All right, well, pretty much all I wanted to talk about and hopefully you guys will stick around for all the craziness that's going to happen soon and again request things because i like interacting with you guys and you know knowing what you guys think and 
If you have a suggestion for games or balloons or whatever, leave it in the comments because the comments are really, <laughs> the comments are what keep me going and doing this. Um, but I'll still do it even like, if nobody comments, like I still like editing, like the whole editing process and filming, like I love doing that stuff too. So either way, anyway, I'm going to go now. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.